Well, I think acquiring Elias Lindholm with the Vancouver Canucks makes the Canucks the team to beat out West. There's a few factors for that. Number one, it adds depth down the middle. You always need depth to be deep down the middle. And with JT Miller as a true centerman and Elias Pettersson having played center for a lot this season, now you give yourself a chance to do two things. One is you can move Pettersson to the wing, have Lindholm in the middle with JT Miller and really load up on your top six. But you know that when you come to playoff time, you have to play the matchup game. And if you want to, you can split all three of them on three different lines and give yourself this incredible top nine with a one, two, three down the middle with Miller, Lindholm, and Pedersen. We see that teams do that all the time. Think of Cindy Crosby, of Evgeny Malkin with the Pittsburgh Penguins. You put them together or you split them up on two different lines. Same thing with McDavid and Dreisaitl. Together or split. But now what the Canucks can do is look at three top-end players in Miller, Pedersen, and Lindholm and say, hey, do we want them in the top six or do we want to split them up and put them in our top nine down the middle? So it gives them that option. It makes them incredibly deep down the middle. But if you want to move one to the wing, you can also do that to load up your top six. Second, well, Elias Lindholm, Lindholm scored 42 goals with the Calgary Flames two years ago when he was playing with Johnny Gaudreau and Matthew Kachuk. I mean, that is incredible talent to play with, but he hasn't had that talent pool to play with with the Calgary Flames in the last year and a half. He is getting that talent pool with the Vancouver Canucks. You're looking at, you know, playing it with Elias Peterson. You're looking at Brock Besser. You're looking at any combination you want to put Lit home with with the Vancouver Canucks, and all of a sudden you're putting Lit home in a position to produce at the same rate he did two years ago with the Flames when he had 42 goals. So that obviously makes the Canucks better. And most importantly, the way that I would build my Stanley Cup winning team would be number one, have a stud goaltender. They have that in Tasha Demko. Number two, have a top end defense pair, right? You have Quinn Hughes, Philip Peronic. That is a top end pair. And number three, again, you have to be deep down the middle. You have to have a lot of talent and your wingers have to play ex extremely well. But down the middle is where it's most important for matchups when it comes to playoffs. And now the Canucks have that with Miller, Pedersen and Lindholm. And you can obviously make some mix, mix and match up top the way you want to. And on top of it, the Canucks save $650,000 because Lindholm makes less money than Kuzmenko. So maybe that opens up the door for another move. Uh, before the trade deadline. So all these factors put in, I really believe that the Canucks now are the top team, the team to beat out West uh, to represent the Western Conference in the Stanley Cup playoffs.